What are you doing? Well, we're gonna go ahead and do something easy tonight. When you don't feel like really doing anything, but you know you gotta eat. All right, we're gonna grab the Pillsbury pizza crust. We're just gonna take it. Go. You can make your own dough too if you want, it don't matter. I got that well lubricated as you can see. Just gonna drop it down. Knew it was coming! Oh yes you did, but you didn't think it was coming yet, right? And definitely y'all didn't know when. Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and grab some string cheese, right? Alright, once you get it open, we're just gonna go ahead, take the string cheese and we're gonna start wrapping it all the way around the ring. That, now all you're gonna do is Press like that, and you're going to just close the dough over the string cheese like this. And once that's done, you're gonna press it back out to the edge of the pizza pan. Ta-da! There it is. So make sure you close it real good. Now we're gonna go ahead and pre-bake this for about five, six uh, minutes. The Pillsbury crust that I'm using is 400 degrees baked Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and pre-bake this. So, there it is. As you can see, you don't want to cook it all the way yet. Cheese is going to start coming through, and that's okay. That's what you want. All right? Boom. Pull out your favorite Alfredo sauce. You can even make a homemade sauce, but, you know, this is supposed to be quick. So, we're going to go with uh, Rails homemade sauce. You don't even need all of it. It's really, it's really however much you want. I'm just going to use what you see here, right? That was about a quarter of a jar of a 15-ounce jar, so a quarter of it or so. Maybe a little more than a quarter. Let's get this all spread all around. All right, so it's about, yeah, about a quarter or so. So again, that's just up to you. Then, whatever kind of fully cooked chicken you wanna use. I like this stuff, I ain't gonna lie. This is the uh, hand-pulled rotisserie seasoned chicken that you can get over at the Walmart. This is a uh, chicken raised with no steroids, hormones, preservatives, and all that stuff. Go check it out. I don't know, I'm not sponsored by Walmart. Again, use whatever chicken that's fully cooked that you want, but this stuff has got some flavor to it. As much as you want, and lay uh, that fully cooked chicken down. All we gotta do is heat that chicken up. And get that on there. You gotta like that. You can go ahead on a pan, and oven, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna use, uh, cook up some bacon real quick, or I'm gonna go with the fully cooked bacon. You can, it's also available usually at most grocery stores, so. So it's fully cooked already. We're not gonna use the whole pack, but we're gonna take, uh, oops, there we go. We're gonna take some bacon and cut up a bunch of bacon, set it on top of the chicken, like you see here. Mm -hmm. Got the bacon down as you see. We're gonna go with some off the block mozzarella and use as much as you want. More cheese, please. Got it like that, got the uh, cheese on there. I just grabbed about a tablespoon worth of butter, a little bit of garlic powder, the reason I'm using garlic powder, powder and not garlic salt is because the butter has already got salt in it, all right? Because I use the salted butter. And then we're just gonna take that and lightly coat the crust, like so, on the edges. Get it nice and coat it, though. Okay, there it is. We're gonna go back in this oven until the dough is fully cooked and golden brown. By then, everything, the cheese should be melted and everything else is pre-cooked so it should be heated up like the bacon and the chicken. All right, so probably about 15 minutes or so in my oven, all oven times can vary. Nice golden brown crust, nice melted cheese. Now, the toppings are always optional. I chopped me up some grape tomatoes, all right? We'll get those on there. All right, once we got the tomatoes on there, I got some fresh, cut up, chopped up parsley. And would you look, I'll tell you parsley, and would you look at that right there. Chicken Alfredo stuffed crust pizza, right? Easy, cheaper than if you uh, went out and got it. Hey, we're just gonna grab a piece of the pizza, look at that. Set it down, boom! Bon Appetit, what's gonna be not to love? Chicken Alfredo pizza with stuffed crust? <laughs> do you start your uh, eating your pizza from the crust or the front? I do the front. Mm. <laughs> and, real quick, mm. look at that. Mm. Y'all need to get out there and make this. 